Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a Wet n Wild haul. Yay! So I pretty much decided to go on wetnwild.com because you guys all know that the single eyeshadow in Creme Brulee is my go-to. I use it every single day. I need it to set my eyeshadow primer. And turns out that I cannot find it at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS. I cannot find it anywhere in store so I'm like oh my god I hope they're not discontinuing it because that'd just be my luck because everything I love gets discontinued so I decided to go on wetwild.com and I picked up some other goodies as well as some single eyeshadows but if you are interested in seeing what I picked up then of course make sure to subscribe down below for me and let's get into it. All right, so the whole reason I even went on wetwild.com was to get the single eyeshadow in creme brulee. As some of you may know, they are only 99 cents, super affordable for a single eyeshadow, and they were having, it was 20 or 30% off if you spent more than $35, and also if you spent $35, you got a lot of free goodies. So it was totally worth it to go on wetwild.com. I did have to wait like, three weeks for my order to get here. It took forever. I'm so excited that I finally have like a lot of backups of my favorite eyeshadow of all time. Like when I say a lot, they pretty much just gave me packs of three, but here's four packs, five packs, six packs, seven packs, eight, nine, and 10. Yes, you are seeing this correctly. I ordered 30 Went Wild single eyeshadows and now they're called brulee. They're not called cran brulee. They are only called brulee now. So I will be set for life, but that is pretty much why I went on there. I'm like, if they're gonna do me dirty, I'm gonna have a ton of backups. So that is exactly what I did. And then I had to buy some other things too because this only added up to like $20 with the discount. So I decided to pick up the Wet n Wild Mega Jelly Face Primer and this is in clear canvas. And I used it today for the very first time and it's very weird. <laughs> like when you think jelly, you think, okay, well, you can still easily, like, scoop it out and stuff like that. No, honey. I had to take my fingernail and, like, scoop out a piece of primer because it was so thick. I couldn't even take my finger and just do this. It's just, like, stuck together jelly. I don't even know how to explain it. It was very weird. When I finally got it on my face, it reminded me a lot of the J1 Jelly Pack. So I guess if you guys don't want to spend the money on that one, this is a good alternative, but it's also in a pot, not a squeezy tube, just so you guys know. But I mean, it made my makeup look good still. And then I forgot to use this today. I'm so upset with myself, but it is the Wet Wild Mega Jelly Highlighter. And this is in the shade Blaze in Glaze. I so wanted to use this today. This is like a jumbo jelly highlight. It reminds me, I think it's for Solly that has a jelly highlight. It reminds me a lot of that. I never did purchase that highlight, but I did swatch it in store and it does remind me a lot of this highlight. Just the texture and the color is so similar. I need to try it on my face. I really wanted to today, but of course I had to go into my Marc Jacobs highlight that I'm obsessed with, but I will definitely be trying this out soon. But I did get another highlight that I I did use today on top of my Marc Jacobs highlight. That's why I'm like extra highlighty today because I just, I can't stop. This is the new and limited edition Wet Wild Mega Glow Highlight in the shade Crystal High. I seen this on the Wet Wild website and I'm like, yes, I need that. I think the packaging is kind of weird because it's a triangle like couldn't you have just made it a square and then there have been more product in this whole packaging? I don't really know why they made it a triangle, but it's also very hard to store when it's a triangle. It can't fit in my drawers like this. But the product inside, holy cow, it is so freaking pigmented. In fact, it's kind of like the consistency of the Super Shock Highlights by ColourPop. That's exactly what this feels like. Since I put the Marc Jacobs highlight on first, I'm like, crap, I really wanted to use this. So I decided to only put this at the very high points of my cheek. It is so 
beautiful. This is kind of more of a icy white where my Marc Jacobs is kind of more on the champagne white. This just gave it a very unnecessary bright pop of highlight at the top of my cheekbones and I love it. Okay and that's actually all I purchased. The rest of this was in like the free gift when you spend $35 you get like a free gift set and they sent me a bunch of stuff. Oh my gosh. Some of this is going to be in future giveaways because I will just never use it but they sent me two Wen Wild Color Icon Rainbow Highlights and I got Bronze Over the Rainbow and Everlasting Glow. I will never be using this. I just have other favorite highlights and I just don't see myself grabbing these. So I am going to be putting this in the giveaway. They are not opened. Along with this, this is the Wen Wild Color Icon Pigment in Gilded Crown. I would love to use something like this by Wen Wild, but I'm so addicted to the ColourPop pigments that I just probably will never go into this specific one. If I want a gold loose pigment, I have a ColourPop one that I really like. So I just decided that I'm gonna pass on this as well. If you guys hear my dogs chewing on bones, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get them to go into the living room, but they keep coming back in here because they love being with me. And I'm like, ah, you guys are making so much noise. Okay, and then they also sent me some rhinestone stickers, which I didn't even know went wild had, but I will be keeping these because I want to use it in a future tutorial because I am coming up with a very colorful pride makeup look for you guys and I thought it would be fun to just use some jewels also so I'm gonna be keeping these and then last but not least they sent me some liquid lipsticks of course you would think that they'd send me nudes right like everybody could use a good nude right no they had to send me the most obnoxious colorful liquid lipsticks that I will never ever use on my lips but like I just said I want to do a very colorful look for you guys in the future and these are actually vegan so they are safe to put around your eyes so I thought that maybe a really pretty colorful liner would look really cool so I'm actually surprisingly gonna keep these but I'm gonna be using it as a liner not as a liquid lipstick but that's everything I got from wentwild.com I have been waiting so long to post this video it's just been sitting in the corner of my room I'm like I know I need to haul you I'm sorry so now I can finally use these products and show you guys in tutorials how they work but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video please make sure to give me a thumbs up hit that notification bell and subscribe down below for me and I will see you guys on my next video bye